with rumors bubbling around Carrington and Old Trafford that Marcus Rashford is one of those players that Manchester United is okay to sell if at all they find a very suitable um, like offer. <clears throat> We've gone ahead to get a story that Marcus Rashford is set to obviously hold talks with Dan Ashworth as far as his future at Manchester United is really concerned. Welcome to the United Matters channel. How are you guys and where you're watching us from? I go by the names of Rock and David. Smash like button, comment and share if at all you're watching us for the very first time. And ever to subscribe to this channel so as not to miss out on stories that we do upload in here on a daily. Rock and David is my name and hope you guys are really having fun. Continue to subscribe to this channel and let's see to either to hit 20,000 subscribers. You know, before the end of this month, let's that be our target and see to it that all goes on as planned. The Muslims, Baraklau Fikhom, it's a Frahi day and it's a Juma Karim. The Christians, pray to God, he'll obviously get you what you want. Those going to bed, good night. Those that have just gone ahead, obviously woke up, good morning. And I tell you what, we're here to bring you more and more and more information as far as everything is really concerned. Now, <clears throat> this story is going to be handled by me and I'm not going to try to really interlude or really put in other additions of particles of other stories i tell you it's really gonna be only and only rock and david into the mix now let me obviously start it off from where it started before i go into the talks of dan ashworth and marcus rashford now this is grammy bailey told us that man united ready to sell marcus rashford if psg show willingness to do a deal the player could also be open to moving on Rashford relationship with Eric Ten Hag became strained throughout the season. And um, this is one of the things I don't really believe <laughs> because <clears throat> there is no reason as to why Marcus Rashford could feel agitated for Eric Ten Hag because he gave him all the time he wanted. You know, most of the times when Rashford was really performing poorly, Eric Ten Hag put him on the field of play and Rashford couldn't obviously put up a very huge performance. You understand? Then what happened was. Eric Ten Hag started benching him. <clears throat> and to show you that Eric Ten Hag still has trust in Marcus Rashford, he made him start in the final of the FA Cup and Marcus Rashford went ahead to play some good number of minutes and he was responsible for the second goal that we scored with his switch play to the out wide right where Ganacho got the ball, played into Bruno Fernandes and Bruno Fernandes went ahead to obviously do a no-look pass to Kobe Mainu and Kobe Mainu went ahead to place that ball into the back of the net. You understand? So that is exactly what went ahead to happen in there at the club of Manchester United and there is no way Marcus Rashford will come out and say that he was not really given what he really desired. I believe he was given time and he was the orchestrator of his own failure last season. And for Rashford, he has no reason to feel like he's his relationship with Eric Ten Hag is strained because Eric Ten Hag is the man who made him outscore himself and really unlock his potential to 30 goals a season. Remember, the best Rashford has ever gone ahead to score, I think it was just 22 goals, and that was in the season of 2019-2020. By this time around, Marcus Rashford came up and scored 30 goals in the season of 2022-2023. And guess what? He was really running riot, and that is Marcus Rashford for you. So I don't believe that there is bad blood between Rashford and Eric Ten Hag. It's all about Rashford knowing that the game of football is, has now changed. If you cannot meet the intensity levels of Eric Ten Hag, then you have no space. And even when he used to get the ball very selfish and looks like nothing could obviously go on in between him and the <clears throat> players. Now, the Man United uh, evening news said, Man United have not ruled out the possibility of allowing Rashford to leave amid possible adjustment to the player's representation. It is understood Rashford's brother, Dwayne Maynard, has held discussions with an agency to potentially assist managing the United forward. Obviously, <clears throat> I think even Rashford being managed by his brother might be one of the, the red flags that have gone ahead obviously affect his career. You understand? Because... His brother is not an expert when it comes to managing. It's like Marcus Rashford trying to tell his brother, <clears throat> go ahead, do what we call the management course. After doing the management course, go ahead and obviously start to manage me as a player. I think that's what Marcus Rashford went ahead to do. And Rashford needs a huge better management because if he knows how huge he is, then he has to get a manager. 
sorry, a, a, a better agency that can really represent because I think his brother's gonna hit obviously change life in as far as money is concerned. Now, if Rashford needs an agency to manage him better or really find him a better club, it's in his own good that it will obviously pay out results that Marcus Rashford will never come out and obviously regret. So we wait and see how that will really happen. They also added, this is the Manchester Evening News, that <clears throat> Manchester United sources insist their preference would be to keep Marcus Rashford and help him to regain the form of his 30 goal season in 2022-2023. However, the club have not dismissed the possibility of allowing him to leave after his relationship deteriorated with Eric Ten Hag last season. I don't really agree with that. There is no deterioration of the relationship in between Eric Ten Hag and Marcus Rashford. That is totally out. <clears throat> that is totally out. Because if you saw how Marcus Rashford played in the final, that's how you would love to see him play. Tracking back when you lose the ball and doing the needful in the offensive part of the pitch. I can remind you of a goal that costed us a season a lot. You remember that game of Man City where we lost by three goals to one at Etihad? How does Phil Foden get space to shoot into the back of the net? It's because of Marcus Rashford, you know, staying down on the ground lamenting and the referee said play on. And guess what? He never, he really failed to track back to help, I think, Linderoff, who was being played as a left back in that game, to obviously help us really do the needful. And that's how we went ahead, obviously, lose out onto that big, big game. So, I think there is no bad blood. It's all about Marcus Rashford doing things that are really right. If Messi can run, if Ronaldo can run, why don't you track back? And if you don't track back, you are like exposing our central defense into what we call a very huge um, turmoil that can cause huge damage to us. Now, the Man United Evening News concluded and said, Man United are also conscious that potentially that potentially lucrative sales of academy players would present a pure profit under the English Premier League profit and sustainability rules. Paris Saint-Germain are confirmed admirers of Rashford are rated at around £80 million and they remain in the market for a forward to replace Kylian Mbappe. Obviously they do, but with all that being said, there is something that has to first take place. <coughs> and it's Marcus Rashford having a chat with um, Dan Ashworth. And the Daily Mirror has come out and confirmed us that Marcus Rashford is set to hold talks with Manchester United's new sporting director, Dan Ashworth, as his future hangs in balance. You know? So, obviously, he would want to hear the club pronounce itself that they see him as one of the most important players and they see him as one of those players that can really turn around a season at the club of Manchester United. And Dan Ashworth will be really very vocal to him and I know he'll obviously tell him the please. This is a, this is a club of Manchester United and you have the capability, but what has gone ahead to cause your inconsistency? And Rashford will come out and really pronounce himself to the sporting directory, to the to the director of football, <coughs> that he is Dan Ashworth at Manchester United. And I think a solution will be easily found to see to it that we get the best out of the best. So for me, all I know is that <coughs> it's gonna be hard to move on Marcus Rashford, though I've echoed on several occasions that we should move him on to see to it that we get the best of the best, but we cannot come out and really rule out the possibility that he's gonna be he's gonna be he's gonna be kept at the club of Manchester United. That is one of the things that we cannot really rule out right about now. So for me, I'm a hundred percent sure that this meeting is gonna be held very well, and then even Rashford will have to talk to Eric Ten Hag and obviously see whether Ten Hag has him in his plans. Obviously, Ten Hag has Rashford in his plans, and he wants him to be a particular player. But this time around, it's going to be totally different because Alejandro Garnacho looks like he's taking a further step. And if at all Marcus Rashford cannot improve to become the player that we all think he's supposed to be, then he's going to find himself on the bench. And I tell you, if he comes in through and doesn't really hit the ground running like he did in the season of 2022-2023, his best ever season, when donning the shot of Manchester United, I tell you, Rashford... Is gonna find himself in a position of really feeling biased and i tell you these people won't really look back from obviously selling him because he's a homegrown player 
even if they get like 60 million pounds out of Marcus Rashford, it will be okay. But this summer, I know it's really going to be not easy to sell him. But if at all, I tell you, if at all, right, if at all, Rashford pushes for move, then everyone will be like, all right, you can go. We have other players to start with because on that side, there is Ganacho. That means United can get in another player who can play onto that side. And the likes of Javis Hymons can come in through and really act better. So those talks, I'm just really waiting for them to see what is really going to happen because I believe that there is still a player in Marcus Rashford, but I'm fed up of his inconsistency at the club of Manchester United. Gives you this season <clears throat> when it's really, 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 really very colorful. And then the next season, he gives you a diluted season. So for me, that's those are not standards for the club of Manchester United. If you've been here and you've watched players that have gone here to make a very huge mark at the club of Manchester United, especially the shot number 10, <clears throat> I tell you what, they've gone ahead to score very many goals. Remember, Andy Cole. Ruth Van Nestroy, <clears throat> these are consistent players. Wayne Rooney, consistent player. You get, and I think after Wayne Rooney, that's when Marcus Rashford takes over that shirt number of 10. You understand? But he has been blowing hot and cold. Something I don't really fancy as a guy who really supports Manchester United. And for Marcus Rashford, who is seen as the star boy for the club of Manchester United, poster boy, I tell you, he needs to lift up his sockings. And there is a post... Um, let me show you this. Things have gone ahead to change, and this is why Manchester United are like, we can really get rid of this guy. We can really get get rid of this guy, I tell you. And this post <coughs> and photo spoke <coughs> volumes, I tell you. It spoke volumes, right? Let me show you here. This... <coughs> Spoke volumes, I tell you. Um, where is it? Let me try to find it here. It really spoke volumes to everyone who really read it and how the board went ahead to obviously address it. Because if you take it as a regular post, you know, <clears throat> you won't really understand the message behind it. But if I told you Marcus Rashford, it's a clear indication that all is over. You understand? And there is no time to obviously come in through and obviously not do the needful for the club. Because when you look at the post that was put out by Manchester United, they came out and obviously announced a new era. You know? The photo had Kobe Menu, Ganacho, and Rasmus Hoyland. Now, read the caption because it was the caption for me. Ready for what comes next. Our 2024-2025 home kit built for the new era. Right. The new era never had Marcus Rashford. It had Rasmus Hoyland, Kobe Menu, and Ganacho. Meaning that Man United have moved on from Marcus Rashford. And they are now looking at the two, the three young stars. Two from the academy, that is Ganacho and Kobe Menu, And one, Rasmus Hoyland, who has gone ahead, obviously, coming through. And really put in a shift that everyone has gone ahead to appreciate into the mix in here onto this beautiful channel that goes by the names of um united matters channel so guys your thoughts onto that are welcome in the comment section below what do you think is gonna come out of the meeting between rashford and dan ashworth talks as united are ready to sell marcus rashford may the living to god bless you abundantly rock and heavy remains my name sign up for now see you later and i cover you all in the precious Blood of Jesus Christ, the Muslims, Barak Laufikum, and we are out for now. See you later.